Joe Biden will meet King Charles and Rishi Sunak during a visit that's planned to the UK later on this month. It'll be the first time that President Biden has been there and the first time since the coronation, which he did not attend. Let's bring in Joe Syracuse to talk about these events and many more. Good morning to you, Joe. Uh, so an update of sorts when it comes to universities, some very well-known universities, and changes that will be made to its laws there. Plus, you've got an update on Afghanistan. Not such a great week when it comes to Biden. Oh, Pete, uh, Biden has had a miserable week. Uh, on Thursday, the Supreme Court ruled that affirmative action uh, relative to uh, college admissions was unconstitutional. It was in violation of the uh, equal uh, aspect of the, of the 14th Amendment. And then on Friday, the Supreme Court ruled unconstitutional Biden's attempt to um, mass uh, pri provide mass relief for student debt. So, you know, he's uh, he, he continues to alienate the uh, sort of the, the progressive or the left wing of the party this way. And then, of course, Friday afternoon, the State Department released something that, you know, didn't expect much action. That is uh, because it was released on Friday afternoon on a long weekend was yeah. the, the after action report on the Afghan uh, uh, evacuation for the military uh, uh, presence there. And of course, Pete, as you and I both know, that was a disaster that sent all kinds of wrong signals to everybody. So, you know, I imagine meeting the king and hanging out with the British would be kind of a relief for Joe Biden right <laughs> now. But right now, his, his domestic program is in shambles. And uh, I don't think he's going to, uh, he, he can't repair the, the damage here, or recover these people. He, he made them serious promises. He's promised people $10,000 on their student debt, maybe $20,000, can't deliver. Affirmative action, of course, now uh, yeah, it, it was aimed at uh, allowing blacks and, and other ethnic groups to get into the uh, the good and the elite universities. That's now by the boards. Uh, though American universities will always try to find a way to have diversity. And so um, uh, there's a lot of people who are very angry about this, uh, mainly because the president uh, didn't put up the right defense or whatever it is, but he's exposed himself. And I, I think um, these three events will probably seal his doom. I mean, I don't see how he can win in 2024 if you've alienated all these people, the military. I mean, we're never gonna, I'm never going to forgive him for that departure from Afghanistan. That was just yeah, a, a lot of people won't. And, uh, and speaking of war zones, I've got to get your thoughts on this, Joe, because it was quite curious that... Volodymyr Zelensky has met up with Greta Thunberg in Ukraine on the weekend. I mean, it's not like he doesn't have a hundred other things or a hundred other people to prioritise in a war zone. Well, Pete, I tell you, when I heard that, um, I had to laugh. I mean, you made my made my day. Greta's finally made it to the war zone. Look, I don't know what Zelensky's doing. You know, he uh, he's hanging on by a thread there. I mean, despite all the uh, the nonsense about uh, Putin going down the drain, you know, the Russian uh, forces there are pummeling or destroying that, that country. And if Zelensky's got time for Greta, I think he's, uh, he ought to rethink what he does, uh, he, 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 uh, prioritize his day. I mean, uh, yeah. I can't imagine what she's doing there. I can't imagine him receiving her. Uh, and, um, you know, it's, it's a strange world. You know, it's a world of celebrity. So here we have a celebrity pri uh, uh, president of um, uh, of Ukraine meeting the uh, the poster girl for climate change. Uh, can you think of a country that is far away from climate change as Ukraine? No. As well, it struggles to well, feed people. It, it wouldn't take Einstein imagine. to work out that war is bad for the environment. And yeah, I mean, you would have thought that, that the people of Ukraine would be more worried about other things, i.e. staying alive. That's right. That, that's right. Look, uh, they, they've, they've had a hell of a ride. Uh, and you know, Zelensky's only hanging on here by the thread. When President Trump, uh, President, uh, uh, Trump says he could end the war in one day, what he means is he would stop supplying Ukraine with uh, war material. And, of course, Ukraine manufactures nothing. So as soon yeah. as that, the, the supplies stop, the war ends immediately. And that's what's going to happen there. Okay. But, uh, look, it's been a hell of a week uh, in Washington. If you watch the, uh, some of the, uh, the mainstream media, you would think that the sky has fallen down. On the other hand, these um, these justices, and I'm not going to call them conservative or liberals. You know, some of them are originalists, they're strict interpretation of the Constitution, okay. some are broad interpretation. And what they said was, you know, we're going to hold you accountable by the constitutional standards of the founding fathers and others. So, you know, uh, I think Biden's going to have to play the game if he's going to survive another day. Okay, Joe Syracuse, good to see you as always.